in general, I don't have a problem with buying high quality tools. As you can see behind me, I've got a bandsaw here and you know, I've got various other um, workshop tools. But I want to do a um, arch top neck reset. And there's a tool online, it's called a heat stick. Um, and it's tremendously expensive. It's $68 um, for what amounts to a piece of copper wire. And so rather than you know, just admitting defeat, I'm gonna actually try and build my own. And so I went to a local hardware center and I got a piece of eight gauge um, solid copper wire. And this cost me 55 cents for a foot. And so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, a soldering iron that I have here. It is a, looks like it's a 40 watt soldering iron. And I have some leftover copper um, from a shielding project that I did. And so what I'm gonna do is take the copper tape, wrap it around the wire here until it gets sufficiently big where it seems like it's stable. There's actually a little grub screw here that you can turn to tighten. And if all goes well, you know, I should be able to make um, what is a nearly $70 tool with about a dollar's worth of copper. Use a little too much copper tape so I can just unwind it a little. There you go. So actually, I probably won't even need to use the grub screw here. Uh, I got it just about right. And so now I have copper tape that's um, wrapped around a piece of co solid copper wire. And so the theory is here that the soldering iron will heat up, um, this copper tape will transfer the heat to the copper rod. And so let's heat it up and, and see if it works. So this is sort of fun, as you can hopefully see here on the camera, uh, it's smoking. Uh, I presume the issue here um, has to do with the adhesive that's on the other side of the foil. Um, I'm gonna let it go for a little bit more. Obviously I can just pull out the um, power cord right here from, from the power um, if, if things were actually to, to go bad. But um, hopefully what will happen is just the adhesive will burn off um, and then uh, it will stop smoking. It won't be a huge deal. Um, I'm also not really too concerned about whether or not um, I ruin this soldering iron. Um, it's a fairly uh, inexpensive one from, you know, standard uh, home center. And so um, if it turns out that the adhesive is getting all inside the, the barrel and I can't use it, um, then this will just kind of permanently become one of these heat stick tools. Um, so the smoke is dying down quite a bit. Uh, you can't see it, but the window up here is, is open as well. And so I do have fresh air. Um, so we'll let this go for a little bit longer. Uh, like I said, hopefully it stops smoking pretty soon and then we can see how hot it's getting. Uh, it must be getting pretty hot if it's burning the adhesive off. Let it sit for about five more minutes to heat up. Uh, it's not smoking anymore. Uh, it kind of smells like an, not an electrical fire per se, but when you're soldering and you kind of have that smell or, um, when you do something stupid with a computer and it kind of lets out that electronic stinky smoke. Um, but like I said, I have the window open, so uh, that, that smell should dissipate pretty quickly. And so, you know, it's been heating up now for, I would say five minutes, maybe even closer to 10 minutes. And so I have uh, this wet sponge here. I use this uh, to clean off my uh, soldering iron tips when I'm doing that. And we can really test out like how, how hot this actually is. If, 
if the heat transfer is going pretty well um, to the stick. Now, I can already tell you it is, because just looking at this, I can see the heat waves coming off of, of the copper stick. And so uh, let's find out uh, whether this works or not. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of stand back a little bit. It's in there good and tight. Um, you know, I put enough copper tape to, to really pin it in there and then I use the grub screw. And so in terms of safety, I mean, this is as safe as having a hot metal stick could be, I suppose. Um, so now I'm gonna to touch the end and see how hot it is. Okay, so it is making some, some considerable steam. Um, you know, the point of this tool is actually that you drill a hole uh, in the fretboard and then you stick it inside uh, the guitar joint so that the guitar joint heats up and it uh, melts the glue and then you can take the neck off. And so, you know, you don't want this to be so hot that it actually just like lights the wood on fire. Um, but you can see there, I mean, it's pretty warm. So there you go. Uh, you know, the true test will be, can I actually reset uh, the arch top neck using this tool? Um, but for a dollar's worth of copper tools, it feels like I'm certainly on the right track uh, to saving about $70. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.